Hello and welcome to the shop. If you're a pin turner like me, I'm sure you've faced this question. How do I store my bushings? Every pin turner who turns more than one style of pin is going to have this question. In the past, I've been using plastic hobby boxes. You can get them at the hobby store. You can get them at the big box store, the local Walmart. And there are little boxes. You open them up and there are little compartments in there. I would store my bushings in those compartments, but it always made me nervous if I ever drop this box and it hits the floor and the top pops open, probably 20 to 24 sets of bushings are going to go all over the shop. And then I've got a real nightmare trying to figure out which bushing goes to which set. Well, a good buddy of mine, Eddie Stipe, we were on a live call and he showed me or gave me a little tour of his shop and he showed me his bushing storage. And I totally ripped him off because this is honestly one of the best ideas I have ever seen for bushing storage. You could literally drop the entire drawer full of bushings and never have a single issue. So let me take you over to my bushing storage drawer and show you what we're going to do today. I recently built this drawer and I've got two projects going right now with it. One is bushing storage. The other is building a front and that video will come out very soon. So please don't take too close of a look at the front of the drawer. It will look better when I'm finished, but it's a full extension drawer. And when you open it up, the inside of the drawer is very spacious and we can just put our bushings right in there. No problem. That's not what we're going to do. We still have the issue of how do we keep these bushings separated so we know which kit they go to. I went online to a company called Uline and I purchased these four inch clear plastic tubes and these rubber caps. I'm also purchasing a label maker and I'm print a label that can be put right on the front of this tube that will list the bushing ID number as well as the kit that it goes to. And let me show you what we're going to make today. This is a test piece that I use. It's just a board. I drew a line right down the center of it and I drilled 5 8 inch holes all the way down the center of the board. Cut it in half on the bandsaw. And what we're going to do is I'm going to place it in here. I'll put some type of a brace between it so that I can keep it from moving around. It'll set nicely in the drawer and we'll have all of our tubes laid out in the drawer with readable labels right on top. I got some scrap wood and I cut some little blocks, just kind of sanded them up so they were nice and smooth. And I've sort of just laid them in here to kind of get an idea of how many racks I can put in the drawer. I split my blanks in half with a line. I then found the center and every seven eighths of an inch, I put a dimple. We're gonna head over to the drill press and using a five eighths inch bit, I'm going to drill holes at each of these dimples. I've got all of the holes drilled in my pieces. There are 11 holes per piece. Now that's not overly important, except to say that with seven pieces times 11 holes, I'll be able to hold 77 tubes full of bushings. So way more than I have currently. Uh, so I've got plenty of room to grow. You'll notice that the line that I drew down the center of each one of these pieces is still there. We're gonna take these to the bandsaw and split them in half. And each one we split in half will form the left and the right half of a rack to hold those individual tubes. With everything cut apart, we're now ready for the fun part of the project, and that is a little light sanding to clean everything up before we start assembling our racks. After I finished sanding my rack pieces, I grabbed two tubes and I put the rubber caps on them, placed one at each end of the rack, 
and then stretch the rack out until it touches the rubber tubes. From there, I'm gonna take an interior measurement, which is two and almost an eighth. So what I'm gonna do is cut several two inch pieces that can be glued between the ends of each of these rack pieces, and that should give me a very nice rack to place into my drawer. I've got all of my connecting pieces cut. They're two inches exactly. It's time to go ahead and glue everything up in this configuration. I used my label maker and I made labels for many of my sets of bushings. I do have a few more sets than this. I just haven't dug them all out yet. Those labels will be applied right to the tubes. The bushings will be inserted in the tubes and these will be displayed in the drawer. After I finished labeling all of the tubes, I placed the racks in the drawer and the tubes on the racks and now my bushings are very easy to find and I've got plenty of room for expansion. Almost half of my drawer is still empty. The plans for this half of the drawer are many of the bushings are too large to fit in the half inch diameter tubes so I'm going to buy some three quarter inch diameter tubes and we'll build some racks and we'll store those bushings in this end of the drawer. I am very happy to have added this drawer and this tube method of storing bushings to my shop for a couple of reasons. Uh, the first of which is it is literally right behind my lathe. So if I'm turning a pin, I can turn around, open the drawer, easily identify the set of bushings I need and retrieve them to get right back to turning. That's a huge bonus. The other advantage is I always worried about what would happen if I dropped my bushing case. It hit the floor, popped open, bushings went everywhere. Not only would you have to spend time trying to re-identify which bushings went with which kit, but how many bushings would have rolled in a place in the shop that you'd never see them again. They just sort of disappear. With this method, if I were to pull that drawer all the way out and drop it to the floor, each plastic tube, it has rubber caps on the end of it. They're not gonna pop open. The tubes might roll everywhere. They'll be easy to retrieve and store right back in the drawer. That is a huge advantage for me. So I'm very happy about having this. Uh, I hope you consider building something like this in your shop. Uh, I want to thank you for joining me for this video. I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon and have a great evening.